In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a self-dismissing alert dialog that closes after a specified amount of time. If you haven't already, watch my tutorials on countdown timers and alert dialogs, because we'll be using that knowledge for this project. To get started, head on over to Android Studio. We're going to be writing the code in our onCreate method of the main activity. That way, the alert dialog is created when the app is launched. I'm going to zoom through the code to create the alert dialog because I'm going to presume that you already know how to create the alert dialog. And if you don't, you can check out my tutorial on that. But I'm going to set the title for my alert dialog to IJ Apps. Its message will also be uh, this dialog will dismiss by itself. For the positive button, I'm just going to provide the text for yes. And then it requires a second parameter, you can see, which is the onClick listener. I'm not going to provide a custom onClick listener. So right now, by default, when the yes but and no buttons are clicked, the alert dialog will dismiss itself, but it won't really do much else. And now I can just say dot .create, and I have my alert dialog object. Now, this is the important part. We're going to set a listener for when the alert dialog is first shown. We're going to say dialog.set on uh, on show listener. So uh, the goal is once the dialog is actually being displayed, that's where we're going to be updating the text to count down from five or whatever number we specify down to zero and then finally dismiss the alert dialog. So this will be where we create our countdown timer and change the text of the button. Let's get our button, uh, the no button specifically, uh, by saying button no button equals and then we'll say dialog dot get button. And then we have to provide uh, the which button. So alert dialog dot negative button, uh, button negative. That's the button we're going to be getting. And if you come over here and do alt enter, you can see that we have to make dialog final. So just hit enter. And now uh, we're going to create our countdown timer. We're saying new countdown timer. And then inside for the parameters, you can see that we provide millis in the future and countdown interval. If you remember, millis in the future is how long we want our countdown timer to run for. So if we wanted to run for five seconds, we'd say 5,000 milliseconds. And since we want to display the amount of time left each second, we're going to specify uh, 1,000 for 1,000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to one second. So now that I have this, if you do Alt Enter, you can see where to implement the methods on take and on finish. And if you hit Enter and put a semicolon here, you should see the errors disappear. And our on tick is where we're actually going to be changing the text of the button. And this will be called every second, so we'll update the amount of time left that the dialog displays. And then the on fish finish is where we'll actually dismiss the dialog. So over here, all we have to just say is no button dot set text, and then we can say close, uh, put a parentheses, uh, an open parentheses. And over here, we're just going to concatenate the amount of seconds we have left to our string. So the amount of seconds we have left is provided over here in the on tick method with this long called L. So I'm going to say L divided by one thousand. But unfortunately, uh, sometimes this is inaccurate. So what will happen is it will count from four to zero instead of from five to one. So we'll just put this uh, L divided by a thousand in parentheses and we'll add a one to it. And then outside that we'll say, uh, we'll put try to closing parentheses. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video to make sure you got this correctly, you can go ahead and do that. Now let's continue to our on finish method. This will be called once the timer is done counting down from five seconds. And in here to dismiss the alert dialog, we're just gonna have to say if dialog dot is showing, which returns a Boolean for whether it's showing. Well, if it's showing, then we want to dismiss it. So dialog dot dismiss. The last two things that we have to do are actually start the countdown timer. So over here, after we say new countdown timer and then uh, implement the methods, we're just gonna say dot start to start it. And the second thing is to show the dialogue. So after our on show listener, we'll just say dialogue.show. And now we can run the app. So when your app launches for the first time, this is what you should see. You should see the alert dialogue pop up. And it also counts down from five seconds down to one second. And then it dismisses itself. And that's because we provided the on tick method over here with um, the no button dot set text to update its text every second, as well as the on finish to dismiss the dialogue. And that is how you create a self-dismissing dialog in Android. If you found this tutorial useful, you may want to check out the short course I have on alert dialogs, including how to create your own layout, as well as add a progress bar. Also join the IG Apps Discord server to communicate with fellow Android developers, ask questions, and make requests for future tutorial topics. Until then, happy developing from IG Apps.